socialism is in its essence an attack not only upon British enterprise, but upon the right of an ordinary man or woman to breathe freely without having a harsh, clumsy, tyrannical hand clapped across their mouths and nostrils. A, a free parliament. Look at that. A free parliament is odious to the socialist doctrinaire. Have we not heard Mr. Herbert Morrison did scant upon his plans to curtail parliamentary procedure and pass laws simply by resolutions of broad principle in the House of Commons, afterwards to be left by Parliament to the executive and to the bureaucrats to elaborate and enforce by departmental regulation. As for Sir Stafford Crooks on Parliament in the socialist state, I have not time to read you what he said, but perhaps it will meet the public eye during the election campaign. Uh, but I will go farther. I declare to you from the bottom of my heart that no socialist system can be established without a political police. Many of those who are advocating socialism or voting socialists today will be horrified at this idea. That is because they are short-sighted. That is because they do not see where their theories are leading us. No socialist government conducting the entire life and industry of the country could afford to allow free, sharp, or violently worded expressions of public discontent. They would have to fall back on some form of Gestapo, no doubt very humanely directed in the first instance. And this would nip in the bud opinion and its forms. It would stop criticism and it reared its head. And it would gather all the power to the Supreme Party and the party leaders rising like stately pinnacles above their vast bureaucracies of civil servants. No longer servants and no longer civilians.